السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear brothers and sisters in Islam May you all be enriched by the blessings of Shaykh Ramadan Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen Allah's mercy and some reflections over it that's going to start our talk over this very impressive topic quoting a saying or the narration of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam there uh, one lady had lost her son she was in the presence of beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after a while of searching she found her, her son in the very moment the outburst of the powerful emotion of a motherly affection love she took over his uh, or her son and raised up to her chest nursed him uh, loved him uh, hugged and uh, kissed Rasulullah and his companion were seeing this that time Rasulullah dragged the attention of his companions towards a beautiful fact Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked, Ali said, Hal hadhi tawarihatun waladaha fi nnaar? Aw kama qala Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Does this lady throw her son into hellfire? All the companions unanimously they said, Never ya Rasul Allah. That time Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allahu arrahamu bi ibadihi. من هذه لولدها الله is more merciful over his slaves or over his servants than this lady towards her son oh my god Allah is most merciful you see the deepest and the strongest feeling the most sincere feeling a man can have upon anybody else it is the feeling or the love of a mother or the parents or their children none can deny this fact but Allah is more powerful in his feeling of mercy than our parents upon ourselves just imagine how deep how great the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is over his servants, over each one of us. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. You see, do you know what, which is the most hopeful verse in Quran? That is the verse, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَتُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمِ Ya Rasulallah, Say, my servants who transgressed by sinning against themselves, don't be despair of my mercy or Allah's mercy. He will forgive all sins because it is He, verily it is He, the most forgiving and most merciful. Subhanallah. All sins, pay attention, all sins Allah will forgive as long uh, as you are you will not die on shirk associating a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is ready to forgive is there time for you to ask him for forgiveness and for his mercy how beautiful a verse is this don't despair of his mercy sometimes we may uh, come across uh, this kinds of feeling that how many prayers have I lost? How I missed? How many fads intentionally have I broken? How many times have I cursed, sinned, quarreled with parents? How many times have I do all these kinds of wrongdoings? But do you know? Sometimes uh, the, this overwhelming feeling uh, may reach us up to this level that my sins are just too much mentally physically getting exhausted we may believe that even a drop of allah's mercy is not going to rage me 
But do you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in a beautiful hadith Qudsi, Ibn Adam, لو بلغت ذنوبك عنان السماء ثم استغفرت لي غفرت لك. O son of Adam, if your sins reach up to heights or the clouds of sky, the f up, your sins are full of earth and reach up to the clouds of the sky, and then you are asking him for asking me for pardon, for forgiveness. I will forgive you. La ubali, I will never mind it. I will forgive you. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divided his mercy into hundred parts. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept with him one, uh, 99 parts and sent down just only one part of his mercy out of this total hundred parts. Because of this one part of his mercy, human being, jinn, animals, insects, everything is showing the mercy one another, showing compassion for one another, caring each one another, and all, even Prophet says, an animal raises his hoof uh, uh, or, uh, from, uh, his, from its young one, lest it should hurt it. And 99 parts of his mercy is kept for the day of judgment. This is the beautiful saying of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Allah, subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written in a kitab that is kept in Arshullah. Rahmati sabaqat ghulabi. My mercy prevails over my wrath. Wa rahmati wasiyatu kulla shayin. In Surah Araf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, my mercy encompasses all. Just by, just by saying one more hadith, I'm going to conclude my talk. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, very, very important one. You will never, uh, none of you will uh, enter Jannah uh, with you by your deeds, by your worships, by your doings. None of you will enter Jannah. Companions ask, even you, Ya Rasulullah, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, even me, illa ayyatagammadani Allahu biwasi rahmati, except Allah grant me his mercy. Allah shrouds me with his mercy. If I didn't get Allah's mercy, even I will not enter Jannah, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says. So mercy, Allah is merciful, he is ready to shower the blessings of his mercy, especially in the first 10, especially throughout the month of Ramadan. But all these sayings ask us whether you got time to ask for it, to seek for it. So three things. Show mercy to others. Allah will shower his mercy upon us. And one more thing, ask for Allah's mercy. And the third one, we have to increase throughout the Ramadan or the very first beginning 10 of the Ramadan. Allahumma rahimni ya arham rahimim. Thank you so much. Jazakumullah kulla khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.